Have you ever had to lift something really heavy and it just seemed really hard to do? But then maybe you had a brother or sister or your mom or dad help you to lift that thing and then all of a sudden you could? Well, in the scriptures, it often talks about something called a yoke. And that's what we have right here. And a yoke is something that binds two oxen together so that they can do more work than one could do by itself. And so in this story, we can think of one oxen like us and the other one like the Savior. And so when we make covenants with our Heavenly Father, it binds us to Jesus Christ so that he can help us. And so when we need help keeping our Heavenly Father's covenants, we can turn to Jesus Christ and he'll help us to do that work. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to draw this picture. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I think this is going to be really fun. We're going to, in a way, kind of get to draw the same thing twice because we're going to draw... I like to think of one of the oxen is like me and the other oxen as Jesus Christ. So we're going to draw these two oxen here. And so to draw the first one, I'm going to find a place like this is the middle of my page, but we want to have two oxen. So I'm going to put one over on this side and then one over on this side. And so I know I want to create my first rectangle for the first oxen right here. And to do that, I'm just going to draw a rectangle right here. So that's my first one. And if you want to, and if you think it's helpful, you can make little dots for where you want your oxen's head to be. And I actually don't want mine to be all over, over here now that I started drawing. And you can make changes whenever you want. You don't have to do yours just like mine. But I'm gonna put some dots here, you can see. And sometimes that can help us know where we wanna draw our lines to or you could even do all of them like that. But yeah, I think I just wanna do my heads closer together. I don't want them to be too far apart, right? And now we're gonna add some other things to this oxen. So let's make a place for his nose to be. And to do that, I'm just gonna draw a line all the way across close to the bottom of my rectangle. And that's the area, like the muzzle or the nose and mouth area of the oxen. And to make some little nostrils on it, you can just make some little curved lines going both ways up right there. And it looks like they got some, a nose right there. And now we want to get some eyes on here. And there's a lot of different ways to draw eyes. I'm going to do mine just by making some circles right here. And then do the same thing on the other one. So you can see that these two are helping each other out and working together. And I think I want to make them both look at each other. So I'm going to put one pupil in the middle there looking at one and then the opposite direction on the other one. So then it looks like they're looking at each other. So now let's add some other things to these oxen. We know we need to put some ears on here. So I think of them as like little leaves coming off of the side of their heads or maybe the shape of a seed. I think it's interesting how we can use lots of shapes and they can be lots of different things depending on how we use them. And now let's put some hair on their heads and this could be kind of like doing two little mini horns, kind of like that but then we can just add a little bit of hair going across some wavy lines because we're going to make some bigger horns on these oxen. Some oxen have really big horns and I think that's what I want to do with these ones. So now we're going to make some big curvy horns on them and to do that you can draw the letter C. That's one way to think of it. I'm going to Sometimes your teachers say start at the top and move down. Sometimes it's easier when you're drawing to start at the bottom and go up. And a lot of times horns, they get smaller as it gets close to the tip. And just like start, you know, somewhere down here where it's thick and then come up here and connect it to this one where it gets smaller. Then I'm going to do a backwards C on the other side and do the same thing. 
And then of course I can do that over on the other oxen. And there we go. And a lot of oxen, they also have, you know, cows and oxen. You'll see little patches of white up here. So you could add in something like that. Or maybe you've seen oxen in your life and want to add some things that, that you've seen or like about them. Now we want to make this, this yoke. And that's the thing that we were talking about, that when oxen are working hard, they yoke themselves together. So one of them doesn't have to do all the work because it's so much easier if two oxen do the work together. So I'm just going to draw a line that connects the two together. So that's the top part of the yoke. And then we can do another one underneath it. And now we want to make it look like it's going over both of their necks. And so I figure out where this line is. And so if I'm drawing this, I kind of want to lift up my pen and then go back down and then go on the other side to finish drawing that. And then do that at the top. And then you can connect those two. So that's one big wooden beam that goes all the way across there. And then do the same thing on the other side. I got this line, lift it up, come over on the other side and finish drawing it just like that. I think that looks pretty good. So now if you want to, you can make it look a little bit darker on the bottom if you want by just doing, sometimes you can make a line thicker by tracing your other line. You don't have to do that, but sometimes I think that makes things look a little bit heavier. And then we're gonna put a little thing on here that um, the farmer, whoever's working with them, can connect their tools to, or maybe like their plow. So put a little ring here and they can connect a chain and then these oxen will be able to do that work. All right, now these oxen, they need to have their bodies and their legs, which will help them to move because oxen are really strong. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna draw the legs right under their heads, but I'm gonna kind of go up here on the side and just draw a line all the way to where I want the ground to be. And then I can do the same thing on the other side of it. And of course, what I do to one oxen, I'm also going to do the other one, just like that. So now this is kind of like stick figure feet, but we want to fill them out and make them bigger. So we can go close to the middle of his nose there, or however wide you want his feet to be, and just draw another line right next to it. And then do the same thing over on the other side of it. And then we can put little hooves on the bottom. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. And then to finish its body, we can put just a little line right in there. All right, so that part of the oxen is done. You can add other things that you want to this picture. Maybe you want them to be plowing a field and you want to have some mud and dirt down here. Or sometimes you can just do something easy like creating some grass and some rocks. Sometimes grass can be something really easy, like just adding a few lines here. Or you could add a couple rocks or something that you want. You can just scatter them around, and sometimes that just adds some fun to the drawing. I think everything's easier to do when we're doing it with somebody else, but especially Jesus. And so when we need help, we can turn to Jesus Christ, and he'll help us. So during the coloring part, we're going to speed up this video. So if you need to pause it, go ahead and do that, and then you can get caught up. So to color my oxen, I am going to use this purple color. I've never seen a purple oxen, but sometimes it's fun to, to color things in colors that we like or that we might think are fun. So this is my, this first oxen I'm going to do, I'm going to do it purple. And I think of this one, this oxen here on this side is me. And you can see I'm, I'm looking over here because he's helping me. He's helping me to keep Heavenly Father's commandments. And this other oxen, I'm going to do him maybe this bluish green color, which I think is just fun. Color that in. And while we're doing this, we can maybe think of uh, some of the covenants that we've made with our Heavenly Father. And I think it's so great that the Savior wants to help us keep those commitments that we've made. And maybe you've made some covenants too. Maybe some of you have been baptized, or maybe you've you have a brother or sister or know somebody else who's been baptized. 
So by our Heavenly Father is proud of us any time that we want to keep covenants with him, and Jesus wants to help us to do that. All right, so I'm going to color the horns on these guys. I'm just going to pick this yellow color, and I'm going to get the hooves and... Maybe I can pick this other color for his nose. And maybe I'll do some lighter yellow up here on the hair. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to color this yoke right here. And I imagine these things are pretty heavy to pull around, but not for oxen, because they're really strong. Sometimes they have to do a lot of work, but they can get a lot more work done when they have two oxen helping each other. So you can see how it'd be much easier to have two oxen pulling this because the work is so, so, so much easier than if we're just trying to do it all by ourselves. Just like if you were trying to clean your bedroom, sometimes if you have a brother or sister, or your mom or dad helping you, so much easier than doing it by yourself. All right, so I just added some grass in there too, and that's my finished picture. Let's look at some pictures that some other kids have made. All right, so I've got four different pictures here, and you can see that they're all very different. They have different colors of oxen. When we do art, we can pick whatever colors we want. We can use our imagination to have a lot of fun. Here you can have, you can see some pretty wind coming through here, different colored hairstyles. This one's really fun. There's a lot of details on here. There's a bird, there's, there's flowers, grass, rocks. You can add whatever you like. This one has some clouds and a sun in this beautiful red barn. And right here we have more clouds. This one they colored the whole picture in. I think all these are fun. They're all very different. And they all help us to remember this story about our Savior, about how Jesus wants to share our burdens with us and that we can bind ourselves to Jesus Christ when we make and keep covenants with our Heavenly Father. I had a lot of fun drawing these with you guys. I hope to see you next time. Bye.